Learning this technique was the first step to helping me to get out of depression. I spent the majority of my life severely depressed. And thanks to this technique, I was able to start to claw my way out of it until the point where I genuinely do not experience depression at all ever. I experience sadness, but depression's a completely different thing. If you have depression, you would understand what I mean by that. But first, welcome to my channel. My name's Kieran Headley. I'm an anxiety and overthinking coach for busy professionals and have been for five years now. I'm also a student of biomedical science and neuroscience at the University of New England. So now let's get into it. The technique that I learned is thousands of years old and is commonly a technique taught in beginner meditation levels to help one to learn to meditate. The technique is called noting. And more recently, this type of technique has been categorized under the umbrella of cognitive behavior therapy. If you're interested in learning more about the science behind CBT, cognitive behavior therapy, you may read more about it in some of the links provided below, some scientific articles just to provide some deeper insights behind it if you're interested. So noting is one of the first skills that I teach my clients. What it is, is it's a technique to separate conscious perception from experience. And how it does this is through two important mental skill sets that we're trying to create through noting. The first skill set is compartmentalization, taking an experience and rather than categorizing it as significant like this is a really bad experience or I should not feel this to oh it's an experience and it's on equal ground to every other experience you'll commonly find Buddhism and stoicism as well as various other traditions that have a huge focus on removing suffering tend to have this type of focus when it comes in teaching one how to manage their own experience the second thing it does is it creates space between stimulus and response. The stimulus being the moment where that person experiences anxiety or depression or any other unpleasant emotion to when they respond to that. In other words, if we take someone who's socially anxious and we put them in a social situation, the stimulus is when they are in the social situation and then they experience the anxiety. The response is the fight, freeze or flight that happens after. Noting will come in before the fight, freeze or flight occurs or even during that moment when it happens, and it will create a space. It's in this space that we can learn what's called safety perception. We'll do more on this in future videos in terms of how to create feelings of safety in place of where we would normally experience anxiety. So be sure to subscribe to follow along for more of these videos. So how we can use the skill is next time you experience a triggered emotion that you don't like, you practice noting it as simply a feeling like this. Oh, that's a feeling ever so gently, without trying to suppress it, without expecting it to go away either. And the next time you experience a thought pattern that you don't like, you practice this. Oh, that's just thinking. Notice how I'm diminishing the intensity of it just by changing my response to it. And that by doing so also gives me space between when I experience it to when I react to it. Even if I proceed with an old reaction, that's fine. The purpose in this is to create that space so we can add in over time a trained safety perception. You'll notice if you continue to practice this over time, within the space of even one or two weeks, you can start to notice a difference in how you feel in that situation or how you feel in general. And you can train the skill of noting and become more proficient at it so that you can use it more effectively in these situations. By spending two or more minutes a day sitting down and closing your eyes, counting the inhales and exhales of your breath and every time you get distracted by a thought or a feeling you simply note it oh that's thinking bring it back oh that's a feeling bring it back to the breath and you continue that count once you reach 10 you bring yourself back to one and you start again once you upskill yourself in this noting technique you'll find the effectiveness will start to come to fruition in the situations and you'll start to feel that spaciousness I can't wait to see you next time for other effective tools and scientific based protocols on how you can work through anxiety and overthinking. Liking and subscribing goes a long way and please comment below if you have any questions or any ideas for future videos. I'll catch you next time.